Welcome to another update on the uh, system uh, name Isaac and his Isaac to bring you the latest information. Thank you, thank you, David. Um, going over towards uh, Tropical Storm Isaac here, we see the life of it as it um, existed. Um, you hear, you see the the way the storm. It looked like it wanted to get its act together and really wanted to look, look like it was trying to rapidly intensify, and it kind of just fell apart after that. Its structure kind of just deteriorated over time, and now it's pretty much just like a sheared, um, you know, remnant of what it was before. Um, and currently, the storm right now has a wind speed of 60 miles per hour, moving due west at 20 miles an hour, and also has a pressure of 1,003 millibars currently also. Recon is heading into the storm as well. And then if you look at the um, National Hurricane Center cone, um, you may be able to see, see how the storm is going to be over time here. Um, and you can see over the next few days, it's going to be uh, traversing the Caribbean uh Caribbean Sea there and maintaining its intensity later on into life. Now it's questionable whether the storm will either dissipate into the Caribbean or sustain its intensity. The NHC agrees that it'll sustain its intensity and be at 45 mile per hour tropical storm by the end of that point right there at 2 p.m. Wednesday, Monday. Um, and it can also see those tropical storm watch watches in effect for uh, Barbuda um, and the northern Leeward Islands. And then you can see for the island of uh, Dominica, um, no, not Dominica, uh, St. George is over there, and you can see uh, the Leeward Islands are under tropical storm warnings in effect right now as the storm traverses the Caribbean. And if we go over towards our next graphic here, um, we're able to see uh, the wind speed probabilities. You can see 100%, 100, near 100% chance of tropical storm uh, conditions where the storm immediately is right there. And you can see as it traverses towards the Leeward Islands, uh, it has a moderate uh, chance for tropical storm force conditions to be felt there and later on you can see the chances quite uh, diminish um, uh, as we're still uncertain whether or not it'll still hold on to tropical storm force strength or weaken and die out as it does so and if we look over towards uh, recon recently uh, we could see that they've been recording winds of about uh, 40 up to 40 knots around the center and you can see the center is way overexposed there um, and has been sheared recently and also dry air uh, is getting it trained into the system. And if we look at uh, wind shear, the, gra the wind shear graphic, we're able to see a better look at that. You can see the storm is currently in around moderate wind shear, um, right there getting sheared by uh, unfavorable shear. It should be moving into more favorable shear, but then again, it'll run into heavier shear later down, down the line, um, which might weaken it and kill it off or might help it sustain its intensity somewhat. It all depends on how... Uh, the core and the, the structure of Isaac will be over the next few days and uh, only time will tell. Now, if we go over towards the animated GIF here, you can see the water vapor, you can see dry air is inside the core of the system, the exposed center right there. You can see convection's trying to, to pop out there and trying to cover the, the circulation there, but it's not quite able to do that because of those high winds here's an access of about 30 knots, um, which is unfavorable for this particular system. Now, if we go over towards visible, the sun has since fallen, um, but I could see there the quite, um, you know, uh, pristine, um, visible, uh, exposed core there of Tropical Storm Isaac as it moves over towards the Leeward Islands uh, at 20 miles an hour due west. Now, if you look over at the next graphic, uh, you will be able to see the ensemble mean forecast, the, the model forecasts, what they forecast for Isaac to do. After about the 72 hour range, the models kind of split. Some of them take it a little bit to the north there, those outliers there take it to the north. Some of them take a little bit more due west with time. Um, after that point, it's pretty much uncertain where Isaac will go. Um, for sure, Isaac will dump copious amounts of rain towards the islands, uh, Leeward Islands, and um, hopefully, um, all the residents on there have prepared for this particular system as it's versus there after that 72 hour market becomes like i said really uncertain where the storm will go and how strong it'll be um and by the time uh the time comes we'll be able to update you more on that situation as it uh, progresses now if you look at our last graphic here we could see um the intensity of model predictions you can see some of them are quiet uh, in disagreement some of them have it weakening over time some of them have it strengthening over time and then there's a 
uh, the fear in there to have it kind of maintaining intensity over the next uh, few hours and days uh, as the storm traverses the Caribbean. Um, I'm Isaac from Force 13. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for Tropical Weather Chat.